golfers teed it up this morning to help women in the Baltimore area. Yeah, this is part of an annual golf tournament that benefits a transitional house for women recovering from, from addictions. 11 News reporter Kim Daisy has more on Martha's Place. These aren't the usual golfers on the greens at Chestnut Ridge Country Club in Lutherville. They're part of a golf tournament benefiting Martha's Place, a nonprofit transitional house for women recovering from substance and alcohol abuse. It's a loving environment and have loving people who really invest in helping you um, transition back into society um, and especially get to the root of um, your cause, your reason for using. Angela Long should know. She graduated from the program in 2004 and is now their executive director. The golf tournament serves as one of their biggest fundraisers each year to keep the program going. This is the third year for the golf tournament and it's their biggest yet with more than 100 people participating. Martha's Place is hoping to raise $20,000. I would support them without the golf, but the golf's a lot of fun and you get the chance to come to a place like this that ordinarily I wouldn't. I it's great to meet all these other people, too, and to know how broad is the support for Martha's Place, and I hope it'll become broader as the years go by. Martha's Place has a higher success rate than the national average of keeping their residents sober and living independently long after they leave the house, and Angela Long knows why. A lot of us make mistakes. We don't judge them based on what they've done. We help them to get better and return back to their families and their communities. And through fundraisers like the golf tournament, they're helping more women do that every year. In Lutherville, Kim Dacey, WBAL, TV 11 News. Now, your 11 Heats to Weather Plus forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tom Tasselmeyer. Lightning strikes.